In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to host your Discord bots online 24-7 for free. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So in the last uh, hosting video, I showed you guys how to host it with Discloud. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to host it with Heroku. Heroku is a little bit easier in my opinion, and I like it a little bit more. So let's go ahead and actually jump right into it. All right, so go ahead and go to Heroku.com and then go ahead and click sign up. This is a website we're going to be using to host it. Um, so yeah, so go ahead and put in your name and your last name and fill in all of this information. And then once you've done that, you will be good to go. So once you've done with that, you're going to have to go to your email and actually uh, create the password. So I'm going to do that now. Once you click the link in your email, it's going to direct you to this page. You can set your password. Once you put in your password and confirmed it, just go ahead and click set password and log in and then click here to proceed. All right. So now that you're in Heroku, you can go ahead and click accept and we can go ahead and create a new application. So we're going to create a new app. We're going to name it show awesome test bot, something like that. Create app. Uh, then we have to download and install the Heroku CLI. And we also have to download and install Git. So first we'll do the CLI. So go ahead and download this. Uh, it will bring you here. Uh, just uh, go ahead and scroll down and download it for Windows 64 bit installer. So this link will be in the description as well. You're going to have to go ahead and download Git. Uh, so just click download for windows right here and download that onto your computer uh, for this to work you're gonna need to download git but once you have the heroku cli and git installed on your computer we are good to go if you haven't already please add sq to your servers we are currently at uh 90 something servers yeah 91 servers as you can see there um which is a pretty big accomplishment but we're trying to get 100 soon so please add it to your servers and uh, yeah, let's get back into the video. All right, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our bots file. Um, mine is going to be the tutorial bot. So that's right here. We can go ahead and actually open up our code file. All right, so once you're in the code, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create two new files. The first one is going to be our .git ignore file. And the second one is going to be our pro c file. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually grab our token so we can scroll all the way down in our index.js or wherever you keep your token and you can copy and paste this. Um, if you're using a .env file, um, what you can do is you can just type .env or whatever file you're using, you can put that in there. For me, I'm just going to put the token and we can do node underscore modules and then modules and then we can do slash just like that. We can go into our pro c file we can create a new worker so we can do worker and we can do node space dots slash index dot js just like that or whatever your main file is so like if this if, if my main file that had like all the code in it or the starter code the code that's essential for the bot to run basically um you're gonna put that in there so some people it's bot.js but for me it's index.js so i'm gonna do that then we're gonna go ahead and open up the terminal we can do heroku login and press enter it will open up a new browser and you can click login so we can type git in it if you go back into heroku we can see that the next step is to actually set a git remote to um the application name so we can copy and paste our application name then we can do heroku git remote a and then paste that name in there it will set the remote then we can go ahead and follow all of this so it's going to be git add dot git commit am and then we can type our uh whatever we want this commit to be called so i'm just gonna do a commits a commits just like that and then we can do git push heroku master and then that will push all of the saved stuff into um heroku so we can wait for this to load and then once this loads, it should be online. We may have to do a few things first. And now it's done. So if we go into Heroku, we can see that if we go into our uh, resources right here, it says nothing's been added yet. So we can go ahead and reload the page. And as you can see, it has our worker that we set in the pro C file. Um, and then it has npm start. So we can turn off npm start and we can go ahead and turn on our worker. All right, so if we've done everything right, the Discord bot will be online. Um, and if you go into more, you can click view logs and you can see all of the logs. Um, so this is where pretty much all the logs are gonna be. Like if you console.log or anything, this is where it's gonna be. And it says bot is online. So now we can actually close out of the website. We can close out of uh, the code file and I can close out of this. 
in the command prompt and even the file just for good measure and if we type exclamation mark test as you can see well this is a project i made for a friend but the tutorial bot is working um and it's it's working properly the heroku is working if you'd like to change anything um like add a new command to the hosting or whatever what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to follow these commands so you're gonna need to do get in it heroku login set the remote to your application name get add get commit and then push to either main or master depending on what you set the name to be you're just gonna be master so just commit to master or push to master um you can take a screenshot of this right now or just come back to the video um if you ever need it or you don't remember it if this worked for you please leave a like and subscribe if it didn't i'm in the code server um I'm in the coding help server, and we have a lot of other people here who are able to help you as well. Um, it's a pretty active chat, and uh, we have a lot of good people in here who will be able to help you out. Um, so if it didn't work, join that, and uh, we'll get some help um, for you. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.